So some of you guys were asking, why do I take an umbrella into the field with me in the mountains? Well, this is why. This is a little, very bomb-proof shelter set up with an umbrella and my little silk nylon poncho. As you can see, it's tied off to the trees on all sides. And it provides a very, very, very strong shelter that will protect you in extremely bad weather. Vastly better than just a poncho tarp on its own. So, let's, uh, let's go and have a look at it and uh, look at the features. So what I've done here is I've taken my umbrella and I have tied it to various strong points down here on the rock along here with paracord to the rock on here and also underneath uh, it's tied. You can tie each of the individual ribs which are quite strong with the hunting umbrella you can tie each individual rib off and this way you actually get something that's really enormously strong and flexible. Uh, we'll shed snow, we'll shed rain. It's just pretty awesome. And then I've taken my little sil nylon poncho. And yeah, I sure do wish I had one in camo. As you can see, the huge difference between the camo umbrella and the green, <laughs> sort of frank spring green uh, poncho. But anyway, took my poncho and I basically just attached it with its center eyelet on the spike of the umbrella and just sort of stretched it over here. It's got eyelets in it, this poncho, so that it's easy to, to, uh, to uh, tighten and to use for this purpose. Particularly useful is that you take the hood and you tie it off on the outside and then here to a, a bendy tree to give yourself some headroom. Sometimes in a confined little spot like this you you can't use the uh, the actual corner because there's no room so in that case you just kind of gather it up and uh, then you can stake it down. So I prefer wherever possible to use not to use stakes but to tie to tree roots or whatever, but I always have a couple of these with me because they're useful for all sorts of things. All four of the points are tied off. The middle points also are tied off. I could have put this one also around this rock, but uh, yeah, I just had a stake, so I did that. At the far end, it's the same. And it's always thinking about what are the forces that are going to be brought to bear on the shelter. In this situation, um, it's strong both from wind coming from over there, wind coming from over there, and wind coming from over there, and it's strong to shed uh, snow loads because we're in March and there is still some possibility that we get a big dump of snow and you don't want to be uh, crushed by a, well, just don't want to have to be dealing with a, a snow load that's messing up your shelter in the night. The whole thing, when you get your act together, takes about 10 minutes to set up. Of course, there is infinite variations to it, but uh, this just makes for a lot more comfort than just uh, your uh, sil nylon uh, tarp there and uh, poncho. So now we're going to go and have a look at uh, how Ali's doing in there. I'm just going to come around and then I'm going to ask her some questions. So I'm going to come over here. This is, you always do have to leave yourself an actual entry. In this case, it's here. If I wanted to then tamp down the tarp, the shelter even further, I can use this loop here to just uh, give myself a little bit more weather protection. So right now, let's see. Hi, Ellie. Hi. Are you having a nice little snooze in there? Yes, I am actually. Is it comfy? <laughs> yes, it's very comfy. Let's see. We've got plenty of room in there, I think. Tons. There's room for another person in here easily. There's room for another person in here. Yeah, it would be it would be cozy with two, but there's room. 
Oh yeah, there's plenty of room for deer. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of room for you. Mm -hmm and your dog and whatever else you might have with you. Um, so that is actually a lot of space for not a lot of weight. As you can see, everything is really just tied off to hard points, so it's pretty, pretty bomb proof. Um, and then of course, the easy way to heat this is simply to uh, light a little survival candle in there. Uh, it's very similar to the socket principle usually have one with me and uh, yeah works pretty good so umbrella poncho a couple of bits of string of course you don't need the tent pegs but it does make it handier and a few little trips uh, ticks, tri yeah, tips and tricks here is to uh, make sure you put lots of tension on the edges of the tarp and think about where the rain is going to go so this rain here is not going to run between here because it's going to want to run off here or the shape of the umbrella is going to lead it off here so it's very important to think about where the rain is going to go and particularly when you have overlapping uh, fabrics like this that isn't one going to go inside and then soak you anyway but that's the beauty of using a uh, uh, an umbrella like this is that you have a shape as you can see i mean i have tied off the spike here to one tree down there. I could tie it off here. I could tie it off there. I could tie it off here. I could tie one uh, string from here to the hood there and to the next tree so that all of the wind strength, the wind power, is being taken on the paracord, not on the fabric or on the uh, ribs of the umbrella. So again, it's all about physics just thinking about the forces that are going to act on the shelter that you're building and uh, how you want those to be dissipated. So that's what I wanted to show you today. Um, anybody have any clue about where I can get a sill nylon poncho tarp of that size in this camo? I would be really glad to hear about it because that's just far too green. I want it to be this. Okay, so enjoy yourselves out there, be inventive, and especially just say no to unnecessary suffering. There is no need.